G'day guys, how you doing? It's Kiwi, back with another video. So, a couple of weeks ago I put a couple of videos out, one on AI, artificial intelligence, and the other video in regards to what has happened, what happened in Christchurch, right? So, I've had a number of people actually asking me what they should do, how do we know when the country's going to go into another lockdown, um, a number of different subjects. So what I wanted to do is to do a video to show you or try to explain to you how certain individuals, like these individuals right here, just a heads up, this one is trouble. And when I mean trouble, I mean big time trouble. Wherever that one goes, misery flows. God's honest truth. And the fact that these two right here, these two individuals had a behind closed door meeting, private meeting, when she showed up down there a few years back. That's a major red flag. And when I mean a major red flag, I mean a massive red flag. So what I want to do is I want to explain to you how you can actually listen to the words of what your government is telling you and know exactly what's going to be coming down the pipeline. Um, I just recently downloaded an article, this one here, um, it's from Reuters, and it's in regards to the Omicron variant in New Zealand. Um, one of the first sentences that actually stands out, sorry, let me back up. What I want to show you is also how they use the smoke and mirrors. They literally tell you exactly what they're going to be doing. And the reason why they tell you this stuff is to mitigate the negative karma for themselves. I'm going to show you a book here for a minute. Not too many of you would know what this book is. This is the title of it. This is the Bible for these guys. This is over a thousand pages of ancient, ancient, ancient esoteric knowledge. And it's what the 33 degree is used to manipulate you, to control you. Now, this one got a scholarship from these guys. Didn't she? to go to work in England. And where did she work in England? She worked in the city of London with the British government. Now the British government is the crown. The head of the crown is the British royal family. These guys, guess who the head of these guys is? The crown. So, everything that this one is doing is for these guys. Nothing happens by accident, and if you think it does, you're extremely naive to the ways of the world. So, the reality of the situation is this. New Zealand will be going into another lockdown. 100%. You've just been let out of lockdown propaganda prison for Christmas and New Year. Just so you get a little, get your little toes and fingers wet, have a little bit of a good time, enjoy time with your family, and then wham, you're gonna be put into another lockdown. Now I'm not saying the whole country's gonna be put into another lockdown. I am saying that Auckland will more than likely be put into another huge lockdown, and parts of New Zealand will be put into lockdown. And I'm going to show you how the wording of this article actually explains this to me absolutely perfectly clearly because I understand through reading this book here and the ancient esoteric knowledge that these individuals utilize to manipulate you and I to believe in whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish. And what are they trying to accomplish right now? They're trying to roll out artificial intelligence. And New Zealand is the key player in the testing and development of this artificial intelligence. So 
by using the Omnichrome variant as the reason or the actual, how can I say, the, the, yeah, the reason for this lockdown. The first thing said that Chris Hipkins says, all of the evidence so far points to Omicron being the most transmissible COVID-19 variant yet. There's no doubt this is disappointing and will upset many holidays plans. And this is primarily about holiday travel because they shut down um, any travel for New Zealanders between New Zealand and Australia. Now, the interesting thing is a little bit further in the article, Prime Minister, blah, blah, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said the decisions were taken to give the government more time to prepare for Omicron. Say it's not so. <laughs> it's like, to this guy here, it's so blindingly clear. Look at this. Give the government more time to prepare for Omicron. What are they preparing for? I mean, it's already been proven here in the US that it's, yeah, it's infectious, but it's not causing any issues. You've already got doctors coming out th throughout the world stating it's basically just the flu, right? Okay, so what are they, what are they on to here? Then she says, and this was on Facebook, for all her fans and followers, all the just Jacinda worshippers. It's unfortunately not a case of if it spreads in New Zealand, but when? When is the vicious Omicron going to spread in New Zealand? I mean, sincerely, when is it? I mean, right now, when this article was written, which is the 21st of December, it's the latest article that's come out of New Zealand in regards to this stuff, they had approximately 22 cases in quarantine. Okay, so there's going to be an accidental outbreak of some sort in Auckland because the majority of quarantine facilities are in Auckland right now, right? Because that's the largest population. Then they go on to say it's so easily spread. Oh, oh my God, we've got to watch out for the deadly Omicron variant. So we are doing everything we can to make sure we are prepared. Okay, they're doing everything to make sure that they're prepared. So they've already been preempting all the pharmacies, all the medical facilities, everything in Northland, getting everybody prepared while all you folk are off on holiday, celebrating New Year's, all this sort of stuff. This individual, on behalf of these individuals, the globalists, are making sure that everything's in place for the massive shutdown of everything yet again. Why in the name of God would they do something like that? I mean, seriously, think about this for a minute. Really think about this. Why would they do that? Well, Omicron, I mean, no, it's not killing anybody. Well, Omicron, is, it's, it's really badly spreadable. Yeah, but it's not causing any problems. There's really, reality is there's medical doctors coming up throughout the world stating it's just a flu. It's not contagious, you know, it's contagious, but it's not causing any problems in any way, shape or form. Well, in the previous video that I did about AI, the rollout of artificial intelligence in New Zealand's role, they've been rolling out a passport, a digital passport to track anything and everything that you do, right? I can actually, I'll leave links in the description section below so you can actually see what the New Zealand medical system is wanting to roll out as far as this AI is concerned and tracking everything that you do regards to your health. Well, how do they test it? How do they test which region gets a red light, which region gets a green light? How can they test the traceability of everybody with this new digital passport? How can they trace and test the artificial intelligence of where you've been and where you're going and what you're doing and who you're spreading a virus to and not to and all that sort of stuff. How can they, how can they test that? That's how they're going to test it. They have to test the system. You're literally being utilized as guinea pigs in all sincerity, genuinely. They're testing a whole artificial intelligence system and a, 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 
officially it's for medical purposes. But think about this for a minute. No accident. New Zealand has now been divided up into all these different districts. Just like in the Hunger Games. They had these districts, right? So then in these districts, they will be able to trace and follow where people are moving. If there's somebody who gets out of a certain area and gets into another area and how that spread of that virus works in that area. It's all about tracking and tracing every single step that you take. And trust me when I tell you this, that digital passport system, because it's now attached to your phone, think about how the phones will be able to talk to each other. How many of you have thoroughly read all the information? And majority of people most probably haven't. You read all that information, just you just go straight down to the bottom, hit accept, boom, I've got my digital passport on my phone, my vaccination status, I'm good to go. Cheer, bro. Sweet, brah. Yeah, you're a rocket scientist. So they're literally telling you straight out, and it's just the simplest little article. This is, this is the article. That's the size of it. It's tiny. It's from Reuters, but it's all in the wording. It's unfortunately not a case of if it spreads in New Zealand, but when. It's no different to the last lockdown that happened four months ago. This buffoon, this individual, locked the entire country down over one case of COVID. One. One case of SARS-CoV-2. And I say SARS-CoV-2 because SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19 are both the exact same virus. So we are doing everything we can to make sure we are prepared. So like I said, while you're all on Christmas, New Year, having a great time, they're planning everything so they can test the whole AI system that you the majority of New Zealanders have accepted and are partaking in a grand experiment of human traceability. And I'll leave a link in the description section below where you can actually look at the Ministry of Health's website. You can click on the videos and watch them because the next step isn't just a tracer app on your phone. The next step is a tracing device in your body. This is not cool. And if any of you think it is, you have literally, completely and utterly thrown away the freedoms of not just yourself, but the freedoms of the entire population of New Zealand. And then if all this stuff works absolutely brilliantly in New Zealand, it will be rolled out throughout the entire world. It has absolutely nothing to do with traceability of your health status. This is something that is going to roll out in years to come. It might not happen in my lifetime. You see, these individuals here, they're what I call futurists. These individuals have been behind everything that has been diabolical that has happened in this world for the last 500 odd years. And New Zealand is a key player in allowing these individuals to roll out their maniacal plans of absolutely nothing other than pure control over the entire global population. And the people that are going to be in control of that Individuals like this one, and individuals like this one. This chap visited New Zealand, and he's a dirtbag. Visited New Zealand just a few days before a certain shooting event in Christchurch. That's who's going to be in charge of the world. Not so much for me, maybe not so much for you, but generations to come are going to look back 
on just how pathetic and weak and how cowardly people have been to allow the complete rollout of a full artificial intelligence tracking system for the entire world. And it all started in New Zealand. Chur, bro, it's all good. 